What's up guys? So now we're going to be using the difference quotient to find an exact instantaneous rate of change. All the way up until this time, we've been only approximating the instantaneous rate of change with different methods, but now we're going to use the difference quotient to find the exact value of the instantaneous rate of change for this function x squared minus 2x at an x value of 4. So let's rewrite what the difference quotient is. So it would be f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. So this is the general difference quotient. And now applying it to our specific case, our a value or the point at which we're finding the instantaneous rate of change is 4. So we would have f of 4 plus h minus f of 4 all over h. And now we have to plug in 4 plus h and 4 into our function. So if f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x, then f of 4 plus h would be 4 plus h squared minus 2 times 4 plus h. Right? I just plugged in 4 plus h for the x's in the function that we were given. Minus f of 4. If we plug in 4 for the x values in the function, we would get 16 minus 8, which would just be 8. And this is still all over h. So now what we have to do is we have to algebraically simplify the numerator. So if we take 4 plus h squared, so 4 plus h times 4 plus h, and we FOIL it, we would get 16 plus 8h plus h squared. And then let's distribute this 2 inside the bracket, this negative 2, so we'd have minus 8 minus 2h minus 8, and this is still all over h. Now, simplifying this even further, Notice how the 16 minus the 8 minus the 8, those cancel out, those net out to 0. And the 8h minus 2h, that nets out to 6h. So in the numerator, we would be left with 8 squared minus, or sorry, plus 6h all over h. And now to simplify this even further, we can factor out an h from the numerator. So we'd have h plus 6 all over h. These h's will cancel out, so we're just left with h plus 6. So we took the difference quotient, we simplified it, and now we have a general expression for the instantaneous rate of change of this function at an x value of 4 depending on what h value we choose. And as we've mentioned before, to get the best approximation for the instantaneous rate of change or for that slope of the tangent, we want the h value to be very small. So the smallest it can be is just really, really close to zero. So we can get the exact instantaneous rate of change as h goes to zero. And as h goes to 0, the instantaneous rate of change would be 6. So that is our exact value for the instantaneous rate of change of f of x equals x squared minus 2x at an x value of 4. We don't have to approximate it anymore. We get this general expression, plug in 0 for h, we're left with 6. So 6 is our exact instantaneous rate of change. So that's a way to do it algebraically. Remember, the thing to remember when you're doing this algebraically is you always want to cancel out this h in the denominator because notice how we can't plug in 0 for h right away because you can't be dividing something by 0. So you need to algebraically manipulate the difference quotient always to cancel out this h in the denominator and then you could plug in 0 for h and get your exact instantaneous rate of change.